This weekend is a big game between Ireland and France, and this is a potential Six Nations game winner like it was last year. First time, the number one and two rugby teams in the men's world ranking will meet in the Six Nations. However, tactically, they are very different. Defensively, they both are looking to slow down the other team. Ireland tackles high and try to maintain a position up to allow the defensive line to set up, while France is trying to slow down the ball at the breakdown. Same result, different method. The biggest difference between the two teams comes from the offensive style. Ireland is able to play through many consecutive phases, while France prefers to strike within five. Kicking-wise, Ireland likes to kick it high to fight for the ball in the air, while France prefers to kick it as far away as possible. When Ireland game plan around the pods shaped in diamond is just so advanced, all set to the perfect position, Galtier and his staff have used stats to build a different game plan which is much more direct. France has been very effective in two things. Something called Jeu en Black by Monsieur Galtier. Well, the second one is to like and follow this channel. Italy have become very good at this Jeu en Black and I'm going to explain it with them to see how it works. During their win over Australia, as you can see there, those three backs, instead of occupying the width, are behind one another. There are two players behind the number 10, which isn't the first receiver, number 12 is and number 13 is flat to offer number 12 passing options now what italy is doing there by creating a horizontal and vertical line is to mess up the other team's defense while also running laterally instead of straight this allows three things one if you are very deep you cannot be reached by defenders two no one can target you and three there's a winger on the sideline so Either on the wing or 13 channel, there will be some space, thanks to the situation created with 1 and 2. Then, when the player ahead of you gets the ball, you come out outside of your pocket to offer an outside solution to your teammate. A flat pass in space, and it's a try. France has done this move against Japan during the summer series. As you can see, they have more players outside, so Japan's defense had to stretch thin, which made them come up a lot faster and left space within the defense for a player leaving his pocket. For this to work, however, there's a few things you need to do. Win your collisions to get some momentum going. When Wales and the Pivac wanted to have all of their forwards on its feet, France, on the contrary, wants to have all of their backs on their feet. If you go back a little bit, France also didn't go from one end of the pitch to the other. They played from the 15 meter line to the other 15 meters line. To avoid being thrown out in touch, but also to have more players closer to the rucks to have a player securing the ball at the breakdown. Usually, the forwards, one center and a winger will join in to make sure that they don't lose the ball and to give the nine passing options to win your collisions, gain momentum and make sure the defense tighter so that other laps are created outside. So the forwards have got to do the job and their formation might seem very unorganized but it's actually some sort of 1-2-2-3 two, two, at time. Against Wales, during the last six nations, same thing. The amazing kicking strategy allowed them to possess the ball near the Welsh 22 to then use the same structure. Notice in both situations how important it is to have a physical 12 to do this move very well. Even with Fiku, this wouldn't be effective, but with powerhouse like Dante and Moefana, it is possible. As usually, with a move like this, you will have forward pods in front of the backs to offer a more physical option. Opposite players aren't going up very fast in case the ball is passed to the 12th. Now, Galtier and his staff found out that the chances of winning the game is up to 85% when they use this tactic on 10% of the time on the possession. So, that also shows you that this set does not happen very often and you need to quickly meet the conditions for it to work. I believe France didn't use this too much for the Autumn series to hide a new tactical weapon or simply because for this to work, you need to dominate the midfield, which they haven't done against Australia and South Africa. But this tactic will come back for this Six Nation if France dominates the collisions again. And maybe they will come up with a new tactic before the new World Cup starts. But there's another tactical threat from France that Ireland doesn't have. The French flair is still very much alive. And the last autumn series approved us that it was. And for this, there is simply no plan to cancel it.